subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joy Learning TV. C'est une fois encore pour l'apprentissage de la seule langue vivante dans le monde. Nous sommes ici sur la chaîne Joy Learning, précisément sur le, ou bien à la section GHS. So we are here once again on Joy Learning channel, exactly or precisely on the GHS section to learn more about the only living language in the world. Aujourd'hui, qu'est-ce que nous allons faire? Ou bien, de quoi est-ce que nous allons parler? Avant de commencer, regardez aux images et dites de quoi parlons-nous dans cette leçon. So before we start, take a look on your screen. You will see some images that will be projected for you. Try to guess or try to think about our topic for today. We have two men on our screen. One bending down to greet the other. Can you guess? Or oh, it's too early? Okay. Let's see if the next picture will give you an idea. Are you trying? Okay. Let's see the next. By now, you should have an idea of our lesson or what we will be learning today. Still? So for the images we have seen, you see most of them having one big one bigger than the other, or one taller than the other, or they look different. There is some kind of difference among the items or the nouns we have seen on our screen. So does that give you an idea? Yes. We are going to learn how to compare. Nous allons apprendre comment comparer les noms avec les adjectifs en utilisant le comparatif. So we are going to learn how to compare two items using with adjectives, of course, because we can compare adverbs, but this time we are looking at the nouns with the adjectives. We are looking at comparing with the more than as well as or the less than. So these three are what we are going to use. Donc à la fin de la leçon, les étudiants devraient être capables de comparer les noms avec les adjectifs en utilisant plus que, moins que, aussi que. So we are going to, by the end of this lesson, we should be able to compare two items or two nouns using either more than, less than, or as well as. Good. We'll start with the use of the plus que. Plus que. That is the more than. So with that, the structure for all, either the plus que, the moins que, or the aussi que, the structure is we have the subject, that is the one doing the action, 
place the verb être. We conjugate the verb être depending on the subject. So the verb être has to agree in number and in gender with the subject. And then we have our plus, moins, or aussi, plus the adjective. The adjective, then we add our que. Our que. Good. So that is the structure for all. Either the plus que, the moins que, or the aussi que. So first, as I said, we have the subject, plus être, plus, plus, ou bien moins, ou bien aussi, plus adjectif, et plus que. Très bien. On peut utiliser le plus que quand on parle de supériorité qui existe entre les noms. So we use the plus que when we are comparing two items, but one is superior to the other. That is where we use the plus que. So that is the more than. Maintenant, on va voir des exemples avec plus que. Nous avons une image de deux sacs. On a un sac noir et un sac rouge. We have two bags on our screen. We have a black bag and then we have a red bag. By looking at the two, what can you say about the two? You can say something. They are definitely not the same in color and then in size. So we can confidently compare these two. But we can see, if you are talking of the size, we can see the black one is bigger than the small one. Good. So in that case, we will say, Le sac noir est plus grand que le sac rouge. Le sac noir est plus grand que le sac rouge. That is, the black bag is bigger than the red bag. Or the red one. Is that not it? Yes. So we, we have seen the black being superior in size to the red one. So we can confidently use plus que because we have seen the black is superior in size to the smaller one. So le sac noir, that is the subject. Et, that is the conjugated form of the verb être. Plus, that is the Either the um, plus ou bien moins or aussi. And then we have the grand, which is the adjective plus the que. So we have used the structure that we learned here. Nous avons aussi une image avec une femme et une fille. So we have an image of with the um, a picture of an old woman and then a young girl. So these two females, they are both females, but we can bring out some differences between them. What can we say about these two? One is older than the other, yes. So when it comes to age, the old woman is superior in age to the young girl. So we will say, La femme est plus âgée que la fille. La femme est plus âgée que la fille. That is, the woman is older than the young girl. Is that not it? Yes. In age, the number of years of the old woman, they are more than the, the number of years for the little girl. So we'll say, la femme est plus âgée que la fille. Next, we have a picture of a policeman 
and a student. And what can you say about these two people? Yes. Good. We can say the policeman looks taller. Is that not it? Yes. He looks taller. So in height, he is superior to the student who is short or who has no who that has not got the height that the policeman has. So in that case, we will say l'agent de police est plus grand que l'étudiant. L'agent de police est plus grand que l'étudiant. That is, the policeman is taller than the student. So we will put the grand, that is the adjective between the plus and then the que. Another image of a woman or a lady and then a man. We can see the woman is taller, so superior in height to the man who is asking her, what have I done? So we will say, la dame est plus grande que l'homme. La dame est plus grande que l'homme. I brought this example here because I want you to note that with the previous the previous image we looked at that is the agent the police we use the grand in the masculine because the police is a masculine subject so the grand which is the adjective had to agree in number and in gender with the subject which is masculine singular but with the second image or picture, we see the dam, who is the subject, is a feminine singular subject. We should agree with a feminine singular adjective. That is the grand. So don't forget that there should be a call or agreement when you are stating the adjective. Good. Now, let's go to aussi que. So we are done with the superiority. That is the more than. We are now on aussi que. On peut utiliser aussi que quand on parle d'égalité. So when we are talking of equality, that is balance, then we will use the aussi que. That is as well as. So there, no one is more or less. Okay, so where we are all on the same platform, we will use the aussi que. Now let's look at some examples. Nous avons une voiture et une camionnette. So we have pictures of a car and a van. Now, these two may have their differences when it comes to the colors, but, or the sizes, but when we are talking of what they have in common, we can say that they are all what, either fast or they are all expensive. Is that not it? Yes, a car is as expensive as a van. So, in prices, there may be some slight differences, but they are all expensive. And we can also say, in, when we are talking of the speed, they have some similarity of all moving with some form of speed. So, we will say, La voiture est aussi rapide que la camionnette. La voiture est aussi rapide. La camionette, that is, the car is as fast as the van. So, when it comes to speed, they all move with some form of speed. Okay, 
So they are all on the same level when it comes to their speed. Maintenant, nous avons une image avec ma mère et mon père. So we have images of my mother and my father. So I want to say both of them are rich. My mom is rich. My daddy is rich. So they have some form of similarity. So my mom and my daddy, no one has more money than the other. So I will say, Ma mère est aussi riche que mon père. Ma mère est aussi riche que mon père. That is, my mother is as rich as my father. My mother is as rich as my father. Maintenant, nous avons des enfants qui s'appellent Gabriel et Chris. We have two children who are called Gabriel and Chris. We can see they are both heading towards a place or something shows where they are going to. You can see they are all what? Going to school. Is that not it? Yes. So, and they all look intelligent. Once they go to school, they are intelligent. Gabriel is not more intelligent than Chris. Neither is Chris more intelligent than Gabriel. They are both intelligent. So, if I want to say Gabriel and Chris are both intelligent, I will say Gabriel est aussi intelligent que Chris. Gabriel est aussi intelligent que Chris. Gabriel is as intelligent as Chris. Bear in mind if we are to bring Chris first, then we will say Gabriel est aussi in, désolé, we we'll say Chris est aussi intelligent sans e à la fin de l'intelligente. So with that, when we bring Chris first, we will not bring the E at the end of the adjective intelligent because Chris is a masculine singular noun. We should agree with the adjective. That is the masculine singular form of the verb intelligent. So it will be without E because Gabriel is feminine. We have brought the E. So Gabriel est aussi intelligent que Chris. Maintenant, nous avons les images d'un avion et d'un hélicoptère. So we have images of an aeroplane and helicopter. So we can see there is some similarity between these two means of transportation. We can say that the aeroplane is expensive. Is that not it? Yes. To travel by aeroplane is expensive. And then to travel by helicopter is also expensive. So they are both expensive. Is that not it? Yes. So if we want to use the expensive as the, that is the expensive nature of traveling by these means of transportation, we will say l'avion est aussi cher que l'hélicoptère. L'avion est aussi cher que l'hélicoptère. So the aeroplane is as expensive as the helicopter. So the aeroplane and the helicopter are both expensive means of transportation. Maintenant, nous, continu nous allons continuer avec moins que. Moins que. 
we are continuing with moen que. That is less than. On peut utiliser moen que quand on parle d'infériorité. On parle de d'infériorité. That is when we are talking of inferiority. That is where one is less. Then we will use the moen que. The plus que is superiority. Then the moen que is the inferiority. So where one lacks or where one is lacking in what the other is superior in. We use the moen que. Now some examples. Nous avons les images d'une église et d'une école. So we have images of a church and then a school. These two are buildings. And when we look at the buildings, one is lacking in size. And which one is lacking in size? The school. Good. So in that case, we say the school is not as big as the church. So we'll put it this way. L'école est moins grande que l'église. L'école est moins grande que l'église. That is, the school is less in size. That is, compared to the church. The school is less in size. Nous avons image d'une nouvelle voiture. Une nouvelle voiture et une vieille voiture. So we have images of a new car and one with image of an old car. Definitely, the new one will look nicer, so will be superior when it comes to beauty to the old one. And then when it comes to the inferiority, the old one will lack when it comes to beauty or the niceness of the car. Is that not it? Yes. So this is how we we'll put it. La vieille voiture est moins jolie que la nouvelle. La vieille voiture est moins jolie que la nouvelle. So the old car is less nice. Okay, so when it comes to the niceness or the beauty, it's, it's lacking. It's less in beauty than that or than the new one. Are you following? Yes. Now let's look at these animals on our screen. We have an image of le chat et le lion. Le chat et le lion. These two animals. We can say that when it comes to the wildness, which of the two is wilder? Yes, we have the lion being wilder than the cat. So the cat will be lacking in wildness when it comes to being wild compared to the lion. So we we'll say, le chat est moins sauvage que le lion. Le chat est moins sauvage que le lion. So when it comes to wildness, the cat is less wild than the lion. So the lion is wilder. So in using the plus, we will say that le lion est plus sauvage que le chat. But here we are talking of the inferiority. So we'll bring the one who is lacking in a first. So it will be the cat who is lacking is less wild than the lion. Nous avons une image d'une bicyclette et d'un camion. So we have an image of a bicycle 
and of a truck. So these two means of transportation, what can we say to bring out the difference? I know there are so many differences, but to bring out a difference between these two, we can say when bicyclet and when share can come you. When bicyclet and when share can come you. Yes, bicycle is less expensive than buying a truck. If you want to buy a bicycle, the amount of money you will need will be less than the amount of money you will need to buy a truck. So when it comes to how expensive it is to buy a bicycle and a truck, the bicycle is lacking. That is, doesn't need much money in order to get a bicycle. So we say, in bicyclet, a share can come here. Now, before we go to the exercise, I would like us to go over the when we start with the plus que, come to the aussi que, and then we'll come to the moins que. Just for those who may have missed one, or two. So we have with the plus que. So we said the plus que is used when we are talking of superiority. Superiority amongst or between nouns. Then we saw examples as le sac noir est plus grand que le sac rouge. So we saw the two bags, one being superior in size to the other. Then we also saw an old woman and then a young girl. And we said the old woman, la femme est plus âgée que la fille. That is when it comes to age, the old woman is superior to the girl. Then we saw a policeman and a little boy. And we said when it comes to height, the policeman is superior to the little boy. So l'agent de police est plus grand que l'étudiant. Then we saw an image of a lady and then a man. And you can see the woman also being superior to the man when it comes to height. So we say, la dame est plus grande que l'homme. Then we went on to see aussi que. And we said, we use the aussi que when we are talking of equality, égalité. Quand on parle d'égalité, on utilise aussi que, where no one is superior or inferior to the other. And we saw examples as, La voiture est aussi rapide que la camionnette. That is the van and then the car. They are both fast. We also saw two parents, my mother and my father. And then I said, none of them is richer than the other. They are both at par when it comes to being rich. So ma mère est aussi riche que mon père. Then we also saw Gabriel and Chris, who are two intelligent students. Well, no, none is more intelligent than the other. So we say Gabriel est aussi intelligent que Chris. Then we saw aeroplane and helicopter we said they are both expensive means of transportation so l'avion est aussi cher que l'hélicoptère so both are expensive none is more expensive than the other then we moved on to moins que and we said moins que is used when we are talking of inferiority Donc, on utilise moins que quand on parle d'infériorité, where one is lacking, when one has less of what the other has more. 
So we saw examples as the core est moins grand que l'église. So where the school is less when it comes to size compared to the big church. And we saw a new car and an old car. And we said when it comes to looking beautiful, the old car will lack that beauty. So when it comes to beauty, the old car lacks, but the new car is superior. Then we saw some two animals, and we said when we are talking of how wild they are, we can say the cat is less wild than the lion. So the lion is wilder than the cat. Then we also saw bicycle and truck, and we said when bicyclette est moins cher qu'un camion. So a bicycle is less expensive than a truck. So if you need money, 100,000 to buy, 100 cities to buy a bicycle, you will need about 5,000 to buy a truck because that is more expensive. So the bicycle is less. You need less money to buy the bicycle, but you need more money to buy the truck. Good. Now let's go to our exercise. You are going to see some images on your screen. And with what we have done so far, try as much as possible to compare the two items you see in the images that will be, you'll be put on the screen for you. Try to say something either with the inferiority or the uh, equality or the superiority. Try and compare the two items. But say or write something. So we will use either plus que, aussi que, or moins que. Are we ready? Good. So we have vieilles chaussures bleues et nouvelles chaussures vertes. So blue old shoes and then green new shoes so you can see the blue old shoes are not looking so beautiful like the green new shoes the same way the green new shoes are looking more beautiful than the blue old ones so try and write something. Compare the two. Either you use the, with this, they are not the same. So we will not use aussi que. Bear that in mind. Because definitely these two are not looking the same. Definitely one is lacking and then the other is having more. So aussi que is out. So either you use plus que or moins que. Try and write something. Now moving on to the next screen, the next picture, sorry. We have two classrooms. And as you can see, one is Kofi's classroom. And then the other one is Kwesi's classroom. So South the Kofi is Kofi's classroom. South the Kwesi is Kwesi's classroom. So you can see something Kofi's classroom is having how it's looking and then Kofi's classroom is also looking in another way definitely they are all not looking the same way so Osike will also not work here so 
So either you use the plus que or the moins que. Try and say something about the classrooms of Kofi and Kwesi. By using either plus que or moins que. Ok, on continue avec l'éléphant et le chien. So l'éléphant is the elephant and then the chien is the dog. So these two animals, try and say something, compare the two, say something about the two. They are definitely not the same. So you can even see their sizes. You can use their sizes to strike out the difference because you can see the elephant is looking heavier than the dog. So you can use their size or their weight to strike out the difference. So either you use the moins que or the plus que, but not aussi que. Ok. So, moving on to the next image. We have two boys on our screen. Jean et Patrice. When we look at Jean, we can see Jean is not in a good mood. Unlike Patrice, who is in a very good mood. So, the appearances alone can bring out some differences between the two boys. So, we are using moins que or plus que. So, compare these two boys using moins que or plus que. Nous allons continuer avec une image de deux sœurs. Image of two sisters. Essi et Abna. Essi et Abna. Essi et Abna are wearing the same dress, the same shoe, same color of hair, but there's something different. They have some differences. So let's talk about the differences using the plus que or the moins que. Then we have an image or images of some caps. So we have a chapeau blanc, a white cap, and then a chapeau jaune, that's a yellow cap. So these two, definitely if I, I'm asked to choose one, it will be difficult for me to choose because they are both looking nice. Is that not it? Yes. So with this, let's try and then use aussi que because they, are, they have some similarity of what? Sharing how nice they look. The yellow looks nice. The white looks nice. So 
let's try and then use osiku to talk about these two caps. Avant de réponse, nous allons regarder aux images une fois encore. So before we look at the responses, we are going to look at the images once again. So that you fill in if you have left one or two. So the first we saw as the vieille chaussure bleue et la nouvelle chaussure verte. And we also saw two classrooms. We saw salle de Kofi and then salle de Kwesi. Kofi's classroom and then Kwesi's classroom. So we said they are not looking the same. So let's try and then write something about how they are looking. Then we saw an elephant and then a dog. And we said when it comes to their weight, one has more. And then the other is less. So let's try and use their size or their width to describe or compare them. And we also saw two young boys, Jean and Patrice. We saw Jean looking so sad. And then we saw Patrice all over the place, so happy. So we said they are both not in the same mood. One is happier than the other. So let's try and then say something about their moods by comparing them. Then we saw an image of Esi and Abna, two sisters, who may have a lot of similarities, but we said there's something different about the two. So let's try and then bring out the difference. And we saw these two caps and we said they are both looking nice because if you are given the chance to choose it to be difficult that is in Akan you say if we had a chance I'll take all I won't choose so let's use Osiku that is where none is having more than the other now let's look at the responses when we look at the blue shoes and then the green pair of shoes. See, they, when it comes to the niceness or the beauty, the green ones are looking more beautiful. But the blue ones are looking less beautiful. So we'll look at how to say the two. So in the first one, we are making the old blue shoes the subject. So, les vieilles chaussures bleues sont moins jolies que les nouvelles. So, the blue old shoes are less nice than the new ones. Or, we can say, les nouvelles chaussures vertes. That is, we are making the green, the green new shoes the subject. So, les nouvelles chaussures vertes sont plus jolies. Que le bleu. So the green new shoes are nicer than the blue ones. So when it comes to the niceness, the green ones are superior to the blue ones. I hope you had it correct. Yes, if you did, thumbs up. But if you didn't, just write the correct thing. Now the next picture. We saw the classroom of Kofi was in a dirty state. Is that not, we see, not what we see? Yes. Kofi's classroom has a lot of things scattered around. But when we look at Kofi's classroom, you see it is what? Clean. So when it comes to debt, Kofi's classroom will have more debt. So it will be superior when it comes to the debt. But when it comes to the neatness, Kwesi's classroom will 
is superior because that one is neater or cleaner. Good. So we say la salle de coffee est plus sale que la salle de Chrissy. That is, coffee's classroom is dirtier than Chrissy's classroom. Superior when it comes to the debt. Then, la salle de Chrissy est plus propre que la salle de Kofi. So, Chrissy's classroom is cleaner or tidier than Kofi's classroom. So, when it comes to the neatness, Chrissy's classroom is superior. Now, with the elephant and then the dog, we say, L'éléphant est plus lourd que le chien. Mais le chien est moins lourd que l'éléphant. So the elephant is heavier than the dog. But when it comes to the less, the dog is less heavy than the elephant. Then Jean est moins content que Patrice. Jean is looking less happy than Patrice. Mais Patrice est plus content que Jean. So Patrice is happier than Jean. Then Essie est plus grande qu'Abna. So when it comes to height, Essie is superior. But when it comes to height, Abna est moins grande que si. So, si, Abna is less when it comes to height, but when it comes to height, Essi is superior. Then with the two caps, we have le chapeau blanc est aussi joli que le jaune. So, the white hat is as nice as the yellow one. Or, le chapeau jaune est aussi joli que le blanc. That is, the yellow cap is as nice as the white. Aujourd'hui, nous avons appris comment comparer les noms avec les adjectifs en utilisant plus que, moins que, et aussi que. So we have learned how to compare two nouns with adjectives using plus que, moins que and aussi que. Si vous avez bien appris cette leçon, rejoignez-moi prochainement. Jusqu'à là, c'est moi, votre facilitatrice, Patricia Abouchi. Merci et au revoir. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joy Learning TV.